and, uh, life, but that's great. First of all, it is a singular honor to meet you because you and your husband have left not an indelible mark, just not on American culture, but on world culture. It's amazing. But talk to my viewers about the Arthur Ashe Learning Center and the campaign that you're on. Well, the Arthur Ashe Learning Center right now has just completed the inspirational tour, which spent two weeks in Richmond, Virginia, on what would have been open on what would have been Arthur's 70th birthday. And that is where he was born and where he's buried. And the response to the inspirational tour was 200% enthusiastic. We did very, very well there. There were young children in Richmond, Virginia, who had no clue who Arthur Ashe was. And this is the kind of thing that we want Arthur Ashe Learning Center to be able to bring information, inspire young people, talk about the, the values that allow that Arthur possessed coming from an illiterate father and his mother died when he was six years old, that he could become such a world influence. We want to pass that message on to as many young kids as possible. No matter what walk of life, what your, um, your background or your situation is, that when will, you can do anything. And let's talk about that. So the Arthur Ashe Learning Center has uh, just completed during this year's U.S. Open the inspirational tour during the Open. It was even more successful than Richmond. We had international um, visitors as a result of the Open that came to the tour. So now people are interested in touring it. But um, to do so, we have to become a self-sustaining organization for the Arthur Ashe Learning Center. Um, I have two uh, wonderfully brilliant, I pinch myself every day, young women who work at the Learning Center that help to archive all the information and get the information out to the public. They do curricula. Um, you know, I founded the organization for which I'm a volunteer. So what I'm looking to do is to now begin a $5 million campaign so that the organization can, I don't have to worry about uh, right. money from hand to mouth and paying the employees. Right. Um, so this campaign, if we can get an endowment of $5 million, it will help to uh, pay our employees to um, help sustain the organization with our, our bills and all of the things that we need to do to reach the public, to continue to build curriculum and really grow the organization, to keep Arthur's um, legacy and good works in the public eye, particularly as a role model for young children. Because I'm 51 years old, I remember when Mr. Ash stood up against apartheid in South Africa. And now a lot of people, because some things have changed, and we have generational change, that's right. they don't realize that's what he did. And it's important to keep that legacy going. You, know? you hit the nail on the head. It's absolutely true, because um, if, if we were to leave it up to today's generation, they would only remember him as a tennis player who died of AIDS, right. if they even knew that. Right. But what came See, before I don't think that, that way. I think of the apartheid part. Uh, absolutely. Well, because it's your generation right. and my generation. Right. And we understand those struggles and we understood what Arthur had to do, who he was as a human being to be able to uh, to navigate in an all-white tennis world and to have everyone in that tennis world love him so much that uh, there was something about Arthur's personality that was non-threatening, non-accusatory, it was about inclusion, and it was about kindness. Plus he was smart as hell. His intellect was <laughs> definitely very well played. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, the URL, the website where people can go to and donate if they wish. The, uh, yes, um, www.arthurash.org is the name of our uh, website. You'll find all of the information about the inspirational tour. Um, there's a donate button on the site. You can donate there. One dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever you can give would help us with this campaign. Thank you so much. Again, an honor to meet you. Thank you, and thank, thank you for you. the opportunity to talk about the organization.